Now, definitely. So one more thing that you should kind of realize for yourself is that, as I mentioned, whatever happens around the world also plays a very significant role, right? So what I kind of uh, refer to mean over here is uh, that U.S.-China trade war. Uh, let's talk about the tensions rising among India and China, at the borders. Since this is a global commodity and a uh, lot of factors to be considered, these are also factors that play a role. For example, this COVID times, what actually happened? The price of crude dropped down like anything. Why? Why do you think so? Is it because nobody wants petrol? Okay, the reason is that two reasons are majorly there. First of all, during a, almost a major part of the world had a lockdown, complete lockdown. So what happened during this time? So what actually happened is that countries were shut down, factories were shut down due to the very same reason demand went down and uh, as we mentioned uh, it's all about supply demand right. So when demand goes down and the supply is kind of the same definitely the price will come down. Now one more very important reason that you should kind of understand is crude oil is very sensitive, highly inflammable. So something that is pretty much hard to store. Okay, so just think about uh, storing gold or st like st storing gold jewelry at your house. How safely do you store it? Like you kind of lock it, key all these things. You kind of monitor it all the time. Now at times you would be keeping it at a bank locker. All these things, right? Similarly, when it comes to crude oil, storing crude oil is very expensive. So I'm not mentioning you have to store it in bank locker. The correct pressure has to be maintained, the correct temperature and a uh, lot of factors. Now it should be uh, capable of transporting, like we, uh, like mostly it is meant for exporting and importing, right? So transportation charges, lot of factors. Now since the storage expenses are pretty much high and one more thing is that every country has a threshold limit of how much crude can be stored. So if I don't have storage, so we have fridges in our house. So just think that we are just adding on things to the fridge. Can we do that? No. So there is a threshold. So once the threshold is reached, only once we use whatever is there in the fridge, then we can keep something else. Else we can, else we have to just throw it away. So wasting food is not an option. Rather just consuming it. So only once the existing products are used up, then we can add more products. Exactly same way. Once the existing crude that is stored, once the crude storage is completed or uh, completely full, only if the existing crude has been disposed or given away to someone, then only new uh, crude can be extracted and stored over there. And uh, the country should be kind of crazy to kind of give it away, just like that. Okay, and definitely like there was a stage where some companies, they kind of felt the need to dispose it due to safety issues. And you must have very well seen that crude oil pricing came to negative. Okay, and now it is recovering. So now crude oil is definitely recovering. Now, uh, one more thing I just wanted to mention to you is since we are importing crude oil, okay, since we are importing crude oil, we are, let's say we are purchasing it in US dollar. So the exchange rates also matter to us. Okay, so now you must be thinking of a lot of fundamentals to look in the case of crude oil. So definitely understanding the fundamentals is good, but when it comes to trading, we purely focus on price action. We initiate trades purely based on levels. And uh, however, understanding fundamentals is uh, definitely important. Okay, now uh, realize for yourself that uh, exporting, for exporting countries, it doesn't become a big factor, the changing uh, definitely, yeah, it doesn't become a big factor, the increase in price, but for importing countries, it is a big deal. Why? Because let's say that today, uh, I could purchase X liters of crude oil by paying Y dollars. Tomorrow, by paying the same Y dollars, if I'm just able to import 0.9 X liters, 0.9 of X or 90 percentage of X, still, by paying the same amount, I'm getting a lesser value. So either the price of crude oil has gone up or our currency has depreciated. So even if our currency depreciates also, we'll end up paying more to purchase the same quantity of crude. So depreciating currency value as well as increasing crude oil price are enemies for us, India. 
since we are a developing country and we need to import crude okay now uh, next what i just wanted to tell you is that how uh, the price of crude uh, basically changes okay so one factor is what we refer to as seasonality so when i refer to seasonality what i am actually trying to refer to is the varying supply and demand throughout the year because of different seasons that is existing now in india like uh, as far as in india we are concerned we would never have thought about heating our rooms right we never heat our rooms we don't use a room heater for heating okay especially in the south southern region I, like now the northern side and all yeah definitely like when there is where there is snowfall and all people must be doing here we don't do but in the europe okay so europe uh, in the winter season definitely the price of crude is actually expected to move now what could be the probable reason it is none other than the seasonal demand due to the uh, increasing cold climate you no know, people will actually be interested in uh, heating their rooms due to the very same reason they need more energy so if they need more energy increased uh, demand for crude and price has to actually shoot up so seasonality is one such factor where price of crude actually keeps varying uh, time to time depending on the uh, varying supply and demand 